Bitly is one of my favourite websites and I'm going to show you how to use it to short and really long web links. Find the link that you want to copy. I've got one here on Facebook. Facebook links are always really annoying because they're full of numbers. I'm going to copy that, go back to Bitly, paste it in the box, shorten. There's your short link. Click copy to copy it and then you can send that in Twitter or post it on Facebook or email it, whatever you want to do with it. It's just a bit easier to use than the long Facebook URL. Now, the easiest way to use Bitly is to actually register. I'm going to sign in because I'm already registered, but it's quick and easy to register using your Facebook or Twitter accounts. Now you'll see that I've got a history. These are all the links that I've shortened. It tells you how many clicks they've had as well. What I'm going to do now is shorten that link again from TK Maxx, so that's the same Facebook link. What I'm going to do is click Customise here. You can only do this if you're actually signed in and registered with Bitly. I'm going to put TK Maxx Comp. Customise. What I can do now is share. On the right it's showing me that I've registered with my Twitter account with Bitly. So now I'm going to share it with Twitter. So that sent that message from my Twitter account. I'll now be able to see immediately by refreshing the page how many clicks it's had. So it's had two clicks so far but that will keep updating as people click on it. You don't need to customise your links on Bitly but it's really useful if you've got a Facebook link which is really long, for example to a competition that you want to share with your friends, a voting competition for example, or if you've got a blog post that you want people to know about Rather than tweeting the really long link, you can shorten it to something really catchy so people will know exactly what the post is about. If we just scroll down here and see the kind of things that I use Bitly for. You can see yesterday I did a blog post. It had 277 clicks on Twitter. What I did was change the name of the Bitly link, Wow Toys PR Fail, so people knew what the post was about. It also makes it more intriguing. People are likely to click on it. Scrolling down again, Here's a competition I'm in here on Facebook, which has got a really long URL that you would never remember. So what I did is I popped it into Bitly, changed that URL to Ginger Nuts. So if you click that link now, it takes you straight to the competition entry. Some common URLs have already been taken, but you might just add initials or your name on the end to make them personal. One of the most useful things about Bitly for me as a compat is that I can shorten links to my voting competitions. At the top here, you can see that's a really long link to see my video. I'm going to copy it, take it to Bitly, paste it in the box, shorten. I'm now going to customise it. I'm going to call it I Love Nottingham. Now I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to post it on Facebook and Twitter for all my friends. If you're chatting to someone on Facebook or Instant Messenger, you can remember this Bitly link. You wouldn't be able to remember that really long Facebook one. I also use Bitly to shorten my YouTube links so people can see them. I'm going to copy this one here and call it Swamp Pasta. Customise. Every month on my blog I start a new linky for people to add in their blog competitions. It's far too long to give them this address at the top, so I set up a Bitly link every month so this month's, for example, is just set blog comps. If I type that in at the top, it redirects to my blog page. It's really easy for me to tell people where it is, and it's so easy to tweet. A nosy trick which I love is that you can copy a bit link from anywhere, pop it into your browser, add a plus sign at the end, and that's going to give you all the statistics for that link. So it shows you how many people have clicked on it, and who's tweeted about it. I hope that was useful and that you enjoy using Bitly.